No boogers. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I found a new button. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 143 for Thursday, the 28th of September, 2017. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos and that's Kent. How are you doing, man? Great, man. Uh, this has been a really cool week. I, um, you know, started out by seeing a movie and uh, the week was going pretty good and then um, and then we lost half. Uh, I, I mean... Like I said on Twitter, when uh, when Hugh Hefner died this week, late uh, yesterday or whatever, and I was, I don't, my only thought was, there's so many big boobid blondes are safe now. I like that you said boobid. Y- yeah, because <laughs> because that's what's up. B- boobid. Big um, boob. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Poodle Puncher just got striked out in our uh, in our chat room. Apparently, Nightbot is set a little too high. Um, so that, that, I'm, I'm sure that's going to be fun to play with. Hey, um, Kent, it's not just me and you here. I mean, it's only me and you on video. But ah. uh, yeah, th- we um, so. So I've been trying to get someone on, on the show for like a long time. And they were like, no. And then they were like, maybe, then no. Then maybe, and then no. And then one night in a moment of weakness, they agreed to, to, to come on the podcast. And then yeah. today they worked late and didn't have time to get all, all, all dolled up. Like they don't need to. Um, so they're only here by, uh, by audio. So they're going to, they're going to pull a Bonnie and, uh, be the other invisible wife. We have <laughs> Ricky here tonight. How are you, Ricky? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> Yay. She, she's still trying to get over the fact that she can hear herself on the headphones. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I remember my first podcast. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> uh, that that hasn't happened in a while. So, um, there's uh, this is this is like one of those momentous occasions that I've been waiting to have her on the podcast forever. I know Kent, you've been you've been like wishing I would just pull the trigger and get her on the damn podcast. But oh hell yeah, I love Ricky. It's good to hear your voice. I love you, you too, Kent. <laughs> I can't say the same for my husband. I, the, the, either way he, you take that is probably true. Right. Yeah. <laughs> love him or that he loves me. I mean, either way. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of lose, lose, lose. That's what that is. Oh, man. So uh, how's your week been, man? Like uh, you, you saw a movie and uh, you did, uh, did some other stuff and uh, then uh, then Hugh died. So uh, go uh, uh, re, re, uh, uh, undo the, the quick recap you did earlier and add some details and make it interesting. Right on. Yeah. So I saw the sequel to The Kingsman. Uh, Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Yeah. Did, did you see the first Kingsman? I did not. I did. You need to repair that. Oh, Ricky did. Did, did you like it, Ricky? Oh my god, it was awesome. Oh my god, like, dude, seriously, this is one of the coolest movie. And, and by surprise, like, I was like, yeah, okay, I guess I'll watch this movie. You want to talk about Mind Blown? The Kingsman is one of my favorite movies of all time. Really. Yeah, and the sequel just came out last week. And does it suffer the sophomore blues, or was it full fledged and ready to go? I still like the first one better, Mm -hmm. but this was a worthy sequel. It was good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was such a fun movie to watch. Uh, There were like you could just pick out a scene, just pick out a ten minute scene, and I'll watch it it, like six times in a row. Wow. Uh, it was just really fun, really visually exciting. The humor was spot on. Oh, you, uh, you you can't wait for Kent to stop talking. He'll just keep going. He's well, trying to feel better. I, I don't know when to butt in, but I'm watching Kent. I'm watching you. You keep looking at me. It's getting rude. You can't just keep looking at me. But it was a good movie. <laughs> it was an amazing movie. Yes, he's right. But the thing is, Anthony doesn't like watching movies with the family. He hates us. He does not. Do do the look. Do the do the eye thing. Every time we talk during movies, do it for them. Do it when we what, talk during what, movies. What movie was that we watched uh, a couple days ago? You weren't in the same room with us. You sat in here and streamed it in here while we watched it in the family room. That's right. how geeky you are. That, that, that's that's how annoying you are when we're watching movies. <laughs> look, look we gotta it, talk. it comes at night. We were watching It Comes at Night. Oh, that movie. Um, uh, okay. It was like The Village. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time. It was like The Village. Have you seen The Village? Just 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 turn it off. Shoot yourself in the foot. Save yourself time. Oh boy. 
so we were watching it, and it's it's one of those movies that it doesn't tell you what's going on. It's kind of like Blair Witch and uh, and uh, uh, without the shaky screen. Oh yeah, no <laughs> shit. Um, okay, so the got it. Cloverville. It's kind of like Cloverville. Cloverfield, sure. Um, where you don't know what's going on till like till the very end of the movie or till fur- further on, and it gives you hints. But then, like, it, so the movie overall is just an unfulfilled promise. That's what I'm going to say about that movie. Like you, it there, it build, it's all build up and no delivery. It's kind of like Justin Rob Young on stage. Okay. Um, so you, blue balls. I, that's what uh, I was thinking. Ah. Uh. Uh, but anyway, while we're watching the movie, they're sneak because we don't we, they're sneaking their phones trying to look it up, see what the plot is, what the secrets are, and stuff like that. And they're yes. I'm like no, yes. no and, and yeah, it's just it's. <laughs> we had to Google it. The movie was just thoroughly confusing. It was a M Night Shyamalan movie. It was just we had to Google what the hell was going on. The best part of those movies is when the surprise comes at you in the at the end, and it's something from a direction you never never. There was no saw surprise. Coming. It was right. let down. In this particular movie, yes, but if there had been, a, if this movie had cashed out all of the, the 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 emotional drama that was put into it, it would have been severely disappointing to have any inkling of what was going on before that. I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, I. But I, I'm with you though, Amos. I'm with you though. Like I. No, I'm not. If, if I'm going to look up the spoilers of the movie as I'm watching it, I'm not going to watch it. Mm. Like, I, no. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. Especially, not, especially not while I'm watching it. Like, can you imagine sitting in a theater and looking on your phone? What? How does this movie end? <laughs> I don't want to wait another 45 minutes. <laughs> That's how it was, though. Like, I, I just, I. Then why are you watching the movie in the first place? It just, it just kills me. Um, so that was uh, that's our movie experience for the week. Um, are you are you, you going to do a uh, film zone on it, or did we just do a film zone for this? That, this that, movie? That, I think, I that think was it. Covered, uh, that was it. That was it. It was I'm the village gonna... and Lady in the Water. Yeah, I'm just clip these out, and then I've got like three episodes already. <laughs> I didn't watch uh, Lady in the Water. I heard, everybody told me it was awful, so I didn't bother watching. It's it's confusing and and unfulfilling. That, that, just like uh, it comes at night. That's what it was. Yeah, I can't yeah. do that. I can't do that. The village. I thought the village was great. Uh, I I thought the twist was shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm, I'm lukewarm on the village. I was I was fine with it. I, I it actually was, kind of. Yeah, it was it was executed awesome. It was perfect execution. The the filmography on it and everything else. Like the the movie itself was great. Just that the 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 key twist towards the end. Like you kind of already had an idea of it. If it was more of a surprise, if there were fewer clues leading up to it, it might have cashed out a little bit better. But it it just left it left it hollow. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, all of his subsequent movies were trying to recapture the magic of uh, the, the Sixth, Sixth Sense. Sense. Yeah, and he just never quite. I I told you about it, the Sixth Sense, right? My experience with the Sixth Sense. Uh, you probably did, but uh, just I like don't most remember. you say, I completely branded. But, but then again, you probably told me, and I wasn't listening, like everything else in our life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so we went. To, my my ex wife and I went to the theater to watch it. Oh, that's why I didn't listen. Got it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Keep also, going, love. I this is why she hasn't been on the show. Um <laughs> now the real reason. <laughs> so we're in the theater and like three minutes into the sh- into the movie, the sound dies on the on the movie. <laughs> oh. So like it's dead, dead. Yeah. Uh but, but essentially right after the, the right after Bruce Willis steps on the scene for the first time. The sound dies and they're talking and we can't hear anything. So oh. I go out because I'm I'm that guy. I go out after a few minutes. I go out and I'm like, hey, y'all need to fix this movie. Yeah. Well, by the time five minutes. Well, they didn't rewind it. By the time I got back into the theater, uh, Bruce Willis was talking to the little boy. Oh damn! So, so you didn't even know he was in shot. No, I, I didn't know there was even a a a, 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 a person in the house. Oh, like I didn't boy. know any of it. So the very end of it, I was like. <laughs> was he dead this whole time? <laughs> from the very beginning, like from the credits to credits, he was dead the whole. Like, what is going on? Yeah, how's that even a twist that he was just dead? Right, like, I- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was like the worst. So they they did give us a ticket to come back, and uh, yeah, I I don't I I think I waited until it was on DVD before I actually watched it, and I sat there and watched it by myself because by then everybody had already seen it, and I was like, what did I miss? So like eight minutes into the movie, I'm like, oh. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> and this is why you have to watch movies by yourself. I know. <laughs> it's funner with I, the I need. I need to watch movies with other people that appreciate movies for movies. What? Huh? We appreciate movies <clears throat> for movies, fool? What the hell? 
Yeah, fool. No. We ask questions. We're scared <laughs> of the scary parts. What I, in the sweet hell? Like, see, this is why you're alone. Are you sitting here in the office like a troll? Um. <laughs> so I have. <laughs> I have like every kid in the house. If they <laughs> if they notice an actor from another movie, they'll call out the other movie that that actor. Oh my god, that's that guy from that show. Oh my god, yes it is. Oh my god, yeah. And oh, then he's so handsome. They'll start having a conversation about the other movie while this one's playing. Oh, so you don't like that? <laughs> that's that's a problem. I, like I I I I watch movies on a very fragile level of um of a uh, a uh, uh, disbelief. You know the the I, I it's very very yeah suspension of disbelief it's very very thin as it is so as soon as somebody shatters that like you you can literally ruin my entire movie experience by simply pointing out something that I hadn't noticed yet ah but that's not hard to ah, do you very... notice everything he notices everything he goes into the movie disbelieving it <laughs> <laughs> right he already doesn't trust the movie. Yeah. Um so uh Hugh Hefner died. Yeah, yeah, he what, he So certainly. let let's 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 recap this in the best fashion we can. What was your first Playboy experience? Not the whole thing, but wh- where did you first come across Playboy? Not, I'm not what? trying to say how what happened before you hit it again, like <laughs> uh that's actually a really good question because like the first uh the first nudie mag that I saw definitely wasn't Playboy. Mm-mm. It was like Pan Hustler House? or some crap. Hustler or Penthouse, something like that. Yeah. 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 Something like that. It was a lot more graphic than what Playboy <laughs> gets. And, but no, I like Playboy is one of those, those iconic things that you just like, did, was there ever a time in my life that I didn't know it existed? Like, I do not remember that time. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's pop culture. Like, everyone knows about it. Even if you've never seen one before, you know what it is and the fact yeah. that it exists. Babe, what, uh, what was your uh, your first experience with Playboy? Ah, uh, found it in my parents' room in a chest underneath their bed because I'm a nosy kid. They had a bunch of them. I mean, seems legit. It was, it was so legit. Poodle Puncher in the, in the Twitch chat says uh, the Vanna White issue. Uh, you know, <laughs> that I, sounds so familiar. That might have been my first Playboy. I I actually might have that one down there. <laughs> I, I have I have a, a small collection of of Playboy magazines from over the years it's in pretty pretty good condition. All the ones that I have left are the ones that are worth money. And that explains why you're in here so often. Got it? Uh, no, that that <laughs> that, that would now. yeah that would be uh, Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's the, oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, seriously. Got, oh, now everything's electronic. Got it. <laughs> you get better Pornhub, picture. So- we so we had to have a uh, uh, so my my son's mom and I actually had to have a uh, parental a joint parental conversation with one of our sons our youngest son yes. today oh the sex talk uh, no not the talk oh, oh. But we had to have a uh, uh, I, I'm not gonna bring up what the issue was there was an issue and uh, anyway so the the conversation went to like uh, restricting access to certain uh, you know apps or. <laughs> uh, internet connection, things like that. Yeah, and then the conversation jokingly went to porn sites. Mm. Uh, porn sites were not the issue; that was not the thing. Right. Uh, but it, it jokingly went to that, and um, Isaac made a joke about, um, you know, oh, like blocking Pornhub or something like that. And then Chris, uh, Isaac's mom, said, uh, "Yeah," and RedTube. And Isaac's like, "Wait, what's RedTube?" <laughs> <laughs> She meant she meant YouTube Red. She meant YouTube Red. <laughs> yeah, he, he's already got the the ultimate uh, reference. He doesn't need to have the the tertiary ones. The wow. right. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about that one. You didn't show me that one, honey. Uh, they all feed into Pornhub. That's why it's called the hub. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and and if you need advice on that, I I have I have a really great device that you put in your in your house and, and put it in the Wi Fi and it blocks oh, all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you know for the, as far as all that, I, whatever. I think we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> and you started watching uh, Stranger Things <gasps> again, again, again. Yeah. So a, season a two is we're we're like three weeks away from season two beginning, mm. and it's been a year since I've watched Stranger Things. Yeah. So now that we finished Gravity Falls. 
we have moved on to the rewatch of Stranger Things. And oh my God, it's at least as awesome as I remember it. It's <laughs> so good, man. We um we watched the original season in two sittings, uh two four hour sittings. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. we did. We we, we did it on it. yeah, we watched it on like a Friday night and then we watched it on like a Sunday afternoon. And, I think we uh, three sittings yeah but yeah it, it, it's because it blends so well it's such a well-crafted story it's so good and, and there's a lot of nostalgia and everything else and it was really good uh and winona Ryder, she plays drunk winona Ryder. i mean it's it, like it's, it's the perfect role for her she plays herself <laughs> yeah she plays herself she plays it's herself. great um so yeah. after hearing you talk about gravity falls last week i acquired the series yes you oh, did. Right on. and uh we have been tearing through that uh it, all the kids at some point or another have been in the living room watching Gravity Falls over the last week or so. Um, right on. Yeah, it, it's it's just as great as it was back when I first watched it. Like, the show is just, it's fun, it's interesting. There's all these little in-jokes and, and innuendo and stuff. It's great. Um, Yeah. And Stranger Things, I haven't started re-watching that, but I have started, re- started re-watching Game of Thrones with the twins. That's painful. He won't let mm-hmm. anyone talk. Mm-mm. No, we, no have, we have rules. We have rules. You can't even walk into the living room and talk. You Mm-mm. can't even look at them. Don't Mm-mm. say anything. Mm-mm. Just sit there with a notebook and write notes for the end. Well, uh, you're, yeah. Why? Why in the world, Amos, would you be taking notes <laughs> while you watch this show? Well, so so here here's how it works out, man. I'm I'm watching it. I'm taking notes. I might be working on another little project that uh, with a, with a couple friends of mine. Um, now. If I'm going to rewatch it, they wanted to watch it so they can rewatch it with me so that way they don't get all confused and start asking too many questions and end up getting spoilers, stuff like that. So at least they can control the environment so they can experience it, it genuinely experience the, the, the adventure. Mm. But with them, if I let them go with no rules, we'd be po- it'd be three hours per episode because they'd be paused <laughs> half the time asking questions. We have questions. Hey, do you know how long it took me to go through it? Mm. Mm. So... <laughs> 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 so the rule is that once we start it, we don't stop it. If we have to go back, we can. But once we start it, we don't stop the episode. And they have pen and paper so that they can write down questions. So they ask all the questions at the end. And wow. I can divide up which ones are spoilery and which ones aren't. That way, they're, I'm not spoiling them, but I'm allowing them to ask questions without interrupting the viewing of the show. Beautiful. That's because, a fantastic idea. Actually. Because a lot of the episodes are very, very specifically paced. And if you start breaking into that and asking questions, you ruin you ruin a scene, you ruin a, an ambiance, or yeah, you ruin you, the pacing of the show. Even if you pause it, yeah, it, yeah, it will ruin that pace exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's. I don't know. Watching it again, episode one was pretty good. You know, it's pretty much note for note for the with the first book. Episode two, like every scene in episode two, uh, uh, foreshadows a future conflict. Every single scene foreshadows something major happening later on in, in the series. It's kind of yeah. ridiculous how thick season two or episode two is once you've gotten as far as we have in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm man. I'm so interested in what, whatever that project is that you're doing, whatever it is, I want to experience it. Mm. So, uh, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's, uh, it's turning out really good and it's, it's going to be a little, little twist on the, uh, on, on the typical, on your typical re rewatch of something. Um, yeah, it's it's very nice. <laughs> um, so I took Sterling on a dusk photo walk down in the little park down near our our house. It's about maybe mm. half mile down the road. Mm, it's longer than that because I've walked it, so it's at least a mile, a mile and a half. Okay. Um, we drove down there, and then we there's a little parking area. You park in the parking area, then you start walking down a path, and it goes out into the hay flats, which is basically like this big marshy area uh, beside the the river. Um, we started heading out there just to take some pictures. She's in a photography class. I love taking pictures. We went out there. It was st- just starting to get to get chilly. There's a little board path, like a little boardwalk that goes out into the marsh for probably hmm. a mile. And at the end is this big 25 wow. by 25 foot platform. And it's this open area. But the, along the way, you, you pass you pass a creek. You come up right next to the river. There's a whole lot of marsh all through that area. And mm-hmm. all the different trees, the flowers. I am sad that it took me a year to find this damn thing, because I can imagine in the summertime, like in the in the thick of summer. Sure, there's gonna be a lot of bugs, but it's gonna be gorgeous out there. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So all the pictures that you took, is there a place out there that that you are uh, making those available for people to check out? That's coming. 
that's Ooh. coming. That's a that's a project that I'm. That's another little side project I'm working on because I want to share a lot of these pictures. I got pictures of the family that I want to share with the family, and I get pictures of other stuff that I want to share just in general. So that's coming. I'm working on it. Right on. You know, um, when I was in Germany, like you were talking about, you know, this place is so close to your house, but you just now are discovering it. Mm-hmm. When I was in Germany, I had this experience all the freaking time, and the the way that I discovered things was with geocaching. Mm. When's the last time you went geocaching? Mm. On the way, when we, when we moved up here, because I hit every Canadian province on the way. We haven't been since we've been up here. But the geocaching app is crap now, so... Is it? Yeah, they've... Man, it, I, it was I still great. Ha- I yeah, it. I still have the old one, and they've basically... Um, you have to pay for it now, don't we? Well, the new one you have to pay for, but the old one... Like- or something yeah well no it's a subscription only now yeah it was it was 10 bucks you but you paid the 10 bucks you could use the app forever that's the old app the old app has been crippled where it's barely usable if usable at all the new app is subscription only and it's a completely different app it's not even like a like you know revision to where you can upgrade to it or whatever it's a completely new app and it's subscription only the whole service of geocaching.com is like subscription only now how much does it cost now that is man that is the most one of the most disappointing things I could have heard. I am, yeah, so upset about that. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm not sure how much it is. I, I, I want it was it was because if it's if the, it's subscription, it means that I'm not getting it. The premium account was thirty dollars a year, uh, which wasn't bad because it comes out to about two fifty a month. But then you get more caches and the, you get better clues and all that kind of stuff. It, it were, if you're if you're actively geocaching, thirty bucks a year is not bad to pay for it. It's, I mean, thirty bucks in a year is like money you won't, you won't miss. Right, and, and and the, that gives you the uh, the ad free experience and everything else as well. So it, like it it, it wasn't thirty bucks a year was, was okay, but this one yeah. the new service is like twelve bucks a month or something like that. It's, it's like ridiculous. Whatever it is, it was way more than I would ever nope. want to pay. Nope, I'm gonna have to dig into that because that's 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 just yeah ridiculous. And poodle poodle puncher says if you find a cash, it's all trash. That was kind of the case before. <laughs> Um, uh, a lot, a lot of caches that I found were just complete garbage, like literally that's, garbage stuffed in there. So, see, that's yeah, that's not quite the experience that I had in Germany, uh, th- and that's what I was. That's really the point of me bringing that up was mm. that I discovered amazing. Pl- I, I, I found I found waterfalls where I didn't even know that there was water in that area, <laughs> <laughs> like just absolutely gorgeous vistas and things that I never would have even knew existed. The entire five years that I lived in Germany. Yeah, if it wasn't for caching. So, yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I found a lot of places in Hawaii. Yeah, but this year the bears were out. There was a lot of bears out. Even yeah. the, even the locals were like, mm, "We're not going hiking this much this year." There's too yeah. many bears out. They were mauling people left and right this summer. Yeah, we we oh. had we had like three or four deaths <laughs> this year compared to the, the the typical one or two. And the bears here, they're like they're like people. They walk up in the trash can. You can yell at them, "Go away, bear!" and look at you, and it'll walk away. Like flip, the, you, the, flip you the middle finger. Yeah, the bears like, here, they don't. <laughs> the, yeah, they don't care. <laughs> Big bear don't care. Damn it, bear. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. We I want to get back into geocaching, but it's one of those things that I need to I need to sit down and actually figure out which app I'm going to use and all that other stuff. Maybe even break out the GPS, go old school and break out the, the old handheld GPS and and get some coordinates and shit and put it in there or whatever. Oh, does that thing even work? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's batteries don't. You know, right, and it's still got a good screen, everything else. Um, so yeah, it's all good. Yeah, right on. I've got an old Garmin GPSR around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna try to pull a Tom Merritt, but it's like, um... <laughs> no. No, 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 Tom Merritt for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, man. If people really like our show, what what could they do to show their appreciation? Um, go to twitch.tv slash ritual misery podcast. And I, I, leave, I don't even know if that's the right site. Uh, I could be completely uh, wrong on that. Uh, Twitch slash r slash. No, wait, wait, wait. I can't. It's be Reddit. It. Well, you, you guys got to get it together. <laughs> like, this is your link. Like, get your life together. Look, so I can't even keep up. Go to Look, you're, you're the new girl. You can't be coming in here just. <laughs> Just saying, hey, you need to figure shit out and then yell at me because I'm spending too much time figuring shit out. Like, you can't have it both ways. Yes, I can. <laughs> you're watching this right now. I'm a woman. We're, we're crazy. Uh, she played, played the woman card. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, but yeah, you can follow us on Twitch. 
you can, um, I don't know, go, go to iTunes and, and give us a, a five-star shitty review. Oh, yeah, definitely five-star shitty reviews. We're going to be reading those in about two weeks with Shannon yep. Morse. Yep. I don't even know if she knows that we're going to be reading five-star shitty <laughs> reviews. So I if you, if you <laughs> I don't think she's going to care. She might even like it. But um, if, if you haven't left us a five-star shitty review, the whole point of it is to go to iTunes Click the little fifth star when you're reviewing the podcast. That way we get the five stars. And then go in there and and make something funny and derogatory and just let them know how crappy the show is and how much you enjoy it at the same time. That's the whole goal. Um, so put that in there, how you can't stop watching the shitty show. It just drags you in. Whatever whatever you uh-huh. want to put in there. But make sure it's a five-star shitty review. And we're going to start reading those uh, on our third anniversary, which is going to be the 12th of October. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, for the audio listeners, if even if you don't like the Twitch platform, do us a favor, go to twitch.tv slash ritual misery podcast and follow us. Yeah. Just do. And then if, you don't ever, if we get enough followers, we can get subscribers. And if we get subscribers, we can maybe make a, a little bit of chicken scratch on the old Twitch platform. Yeah. Wait a minute. I've been letting you do this for three years. <laughs> I'm sorry. <stuck in. laughs> I can't believe that. Well, I mean, to be fair, you didn't, you didn't have uh, any say for a year of that. That's true. <laughs> I could have shut down all his shipments, though. All the shipments he needed yeah. to do this. No care packages for you. <laughs> there was no. There was no care. <laughs> there wasn't. There really wasn't. It, it was. was, it, was, was it was filled with pure hate. Barely packages. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. how, how come my care package has got a bunch of bills you didn't pay? Like what? <laughs> Oh my Damn God. it! I can't win. Can't win. Can't win. Um, oh. Hey, uh, there's a there's a little thing that we like to do on the show. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It starts out like this. You've got 60 seconds. Get your mind right. It's time for hot takes on the Ritual Misery podcast. Uh, she doesn't watch the show, and I didn't warn her. So, oh, yeah. Why you got to call me out? No, I totally watched the show. I love the show. I love my husband. I love Kent. The show is amazing. No, I don't like so, this show. So, I was gonna say, so you all you know what we're doing, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. So all right, all right. All right Rick, we, the way this goes, we, this is called hot takes. Go ahead, Amos. No, I was gonna say we couldn't do libs because well, she's been with me when I bought half the libs books. So, um, <laughs> I, I, and and just so you know, just so you know, Rick, I was not in on this at all. This is completely separate. So you're full of never, shit. I can, hear, I can you're verify. You're full of shit. Never, seen these no seriously because i i filled these in just a couple hours ago on the google doc and no one has entered the google doc since i started it so uh, that that kind of sounds like some marriages <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait Rick, is so it up the... there now should i look wait no, huh no, wait no 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 he's you he can't go ahead do your, do your spiel damn it <laughs> <laughs> all right so the way this works rick is it's called hot takes and I want your hot takes. So I am going to give you a topic and you are going to uh, say the one word, say the 15 words, say that just go on a fucking hell rant about the thing that I say until you hear this sound of the record scratch. Mm. And then you stop and we move on to the next topic and it's going to last for right about 60 seconds. Are I got to talk for 60 seconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 10 seconds at a time though. Okay. All right, let's do this. You ready? Okay. All right, Rick. Mop four, am I right? You're wrong. It sucks. <laughs> you pit on mop four. <laughs> All right. Ding dongs, am I right? Mmm, yummy and creamy. <laughs> Twin teenagers, am I right? Oh, my God. They're hateful, evil shit. They like no one but themselves, and they like to look at themselves in the mirror all day. No, don't get any. They're evil. (laughs) Don't don't, don't go to the store and buy (laughs) teenage twins. They're horrible. All right, Ricky. Closed for official function. Am I right? Ha, shirt skirts, red heels. Show everybody you're sexy. (laughs) Wow. Okay, that took a turn. Um... (laughs) And finally, the Ritual Misery podcast. Am I right? Ugh, why? 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 I'm never coming back. But I love you, both of you. Three years. I love to see this. Three years. Oh boy, that was uh, that was certainly interesting. 
So um, he, he said closed for official function because MPF is always fucking closed when we need shit to get done. And you're talking about your high heels and your red dress. I was thinking, wait, hold on, hold on. Now we know what really happens. Hold on, wait, no, no, no. no, no. I know this was like, oh my god, insight being had right now. I heard clothes for an official function. I was thinking going out. I'm just that's what I heard. No. (laughs) Wait to try to cover for your yourself. But uh (laughs) yeah, no, it's so for for the people not understanding what's happening, okay. So Ricky works at a uh a place that us flight line maintainers uh, have disdain for. Uh, Great disdain. I don't even think it's disdain. You guys just straight up hate it. It's you, basically a, a the, the personnel office yeah. for Air Force. For civilians, it's HR. It's, uh, it's, the, non- the, it's, it's the non-owners, the people that don't actually work for a living. What? Hold on. Are you not I'm, a non-owner okay. now, honey? Like, last time you went on the flight line, I think you cut yourself. Like, I need you to <laughs> calm down over there. I need you to... <laughs> remember that bleeding you had? I need you to. I I think you stepped into an honor. You you yeah. Don't. He's not allowed on the flight line because every you time. You have a line badge, Amos. <laughs> one of the people in this room has a line badge. <laughs> one of them has does not. I don't want one. <laughs> I guess that answers that. I don't want one. <laughs> I don't need it. I could escort it. I'm not a honor. I don't want a line badge. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There you go. <gasps> ridiculous ridiculous um th- well that was that 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 game uh i don't know if, uh, we might have to change that game now because that kind of changed shit about <laughs> a little bit <laughs> Look, i didn't understand what he was saying i heard clothes for an official uh, function like clothes what official function are you wearing high heels and a red dress <laughs> look <laughs> Airport, oh, you're just jealous i don't take you <laughs> right <laughs> oh shit um side but, job someone has to pay for all this stuff you're doing b- b- <laughs> baby, baby, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work late tonight. <laughs> yeah, the hell, you need to wear, wear that shit to work late. Hey, hey, is, she's not a flight line escort. <laughs> 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 she made that clear. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, um, so one thing that we did this week, so we got a little bit of Apple news. If you don't like Apple, we'll try to keep it, uh, try to keep it, keep it. Uh, um, hmm. uh, Punch says Amos was in Korea. Um. <laughs> now we know why the hate spewed forth. Uh, right. A little bit of Apple talk, and if you don't, uh, if you're not into the Apple thing, then uh, we'll try to breeze through it a little bit quickly. But yeah, what, I've got like what, maybe how, two. Matches. How are you? How are you sweating? You're not even on camera. I know I'm hot in here. It's probably because you never sit with the door shut, and now you got the bright light on my face. Like it's hot. <laughs> I'm sweating. Why, 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 why are we putting her under the lights over there? Like, what's uh, it, it, it's what's it's my light, she just happens to be where it's shiny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh Can't boy, win. okay. So, so what, what did you do Apple wise this week? That is uh, really we got our Apple Watch Series 3s. Both, oh, both Ricky okay. and I got our Apple Watch Series 3s. So, like, the the full product release, like, the the mm-hmm. The the Apple Watch product coming to fruition. You finally received one. Of yes. Of course he did. You know he's a junkie. <laughs> yeah. He's a junkie. All right. So you got your get your Apple threes <laughs> and uh, or Apple Watch Series threes. And uh, what do you think? Is it uh everything it was hyped up to be? I <sighs> my battery is still working. I it hasn't so, died. Yeah, because th- this is my Series one that I'm wearing right now. I'm sorry, zero, Series zero, the original model. And when I got this watch, my battery would last me the whole day. Like when I left for work in the morning, when I got home at night, before I went to bed, it would be at like 10%. It'd be ready to, to be recharged. The Series 3s, I have zero. Like I'm, I, I have to go in for an overnight appointment tonight, and I won't be back home until tomorrow evening. I'm going to take my watch, my, uh, my Series 3 watch with me. I'm not taking the charger. Be- ah. Because I don't have any fear that, it's, that I'm going to have to... Uh, have to recharge it. It's amazing. The battery life is, if nothing else, the battery life itself is is ridiculous. Yeah. So, Rick, did you did you also get a Series Three Apple Watch? Yes, I did. You know, some people like to do drugs. My husband likes to do Apple. So, <laughs> I, it's <laughs> it is what it is. But are you? Uh, did you come along will it, willingly or or begrudgingly? <laughs> 
of course it was a struggle to I'm, get this fancy new watch. Uh, <laughs> so in, in all fairness, I had to convince her to get the original one. But once I said I would like to upgrade, she was like, well, if you're going to upgrade, you better get me one too. <laughs> and then and then Apple was nice enough to send hers. Uh, hers arrived Saturday, mine did, or Friday. Mine didn't get here until Monday. So Apple knew what was up. <laughs> right. um, but activating the LTE on it, so my phone number is the primary line for the account. Sure. And I had no problems. Oh, even just do the watch. Do, 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 do. Done. Easy who, who peasy. You, you Verizon. With? Verizon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it was simple. Go to activate her watch, and it brings up my phone number in a field that I can't change. Oh, oh hell no. Yeah. So I had to actually call them, and they, I had to call them twice because the first person didn't know how to do it, even though it was like four days after the Apple Watch was released. Ooh, that must have burned right. you up. I was pissed. <laughs> customer service. Do what? Verizon customer service. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. The second lady was like, oh, yeah, we got to do this. We got to do And what it really comes down to is you have to add a device as if you're getting a new phone, but then it automatically kicks over once you select the device. It was like, this is stupid. This is the worst possible implementation of what is going on here. Um, mm. So, yeah, anyway. That, that's, uh, that's the primary number holder, you, you shouldn't have any issues. But, right. I didn't have, that's why I didn't have any on mine, but her being one of the secondary numbers <sighs> couldn't handle, couldn't, couldn't right. do it. Um, and I, I enjoy the fact that now if I leave my, my, my phone in the truck or whatever else, like, I don't, I'm not even worried about it because it, I get it anyway. It just, it just works. So it's awesome. Very cool. Uh, you uh, you got a Apple TV 4K ordered? What? Yeah, I don't I don't have it yet, obviously, because it they're like a fucking month behind with <laughs> with delivery. When did um, you order it? Uh, like uh, I don't know, five days ago, six uh, days ago. So you missed you missed the pre order the pre order jump on. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, the struggle, you guys, in your first world problems. Yeah, they're, I know. Like, they're a month no. behind in my oh, 4K what? Apple TV. The struggle. <laughs> Sa weeks. Says the lady, the, like last time we were like, hey, uh, should we get a Chrome stick for the other bedroom so we can watch TV? She was like, just get an Apple TV. You're not changing <laughs> shit now. Just get another Apple TV. I don't uh, like change. But my, my, my cool experience, though, this is, you know, I, you've probably already done this. I don't know. But this is the first time that I've actually used Apple Pay on anything other than my phone itself. Okay. What a cool experience. So I ordered it on Apple.com, mm -hmm. which is... I, I believe is actually the first time I've ordered anything from Apple.com uh, because it, Am the Amazon deal hasn't gone through yet, so they still don't carry any Apple products. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, no one else had it any cheaper. It was the same price like everywhere on the internet. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'll just go ahead and go to Apple.com. They don't it's charge. A, it's expensive, shipping. right? Like like two ninety nine or whatever. Uh, it's like well, the most expensive one is one ninety nine. She's she's over here playing with her sweaty boobs. Like she's talking about how she's sweating. Now she's over here playing with her boobs. I think he's just jealous he can't touch them. Expecting me well, to like it's, concentrate. It's normally Amos. It's no normally Amos playing with his sweaty boobs. <laughs> no, it's it's normally Amos sweating while playing with her boobs. That, that's that's how it usually goes. <laughs> I mean, all of these things happen apparently. Um, no, so when I ordered it, it asked me if I wanted to use Apple Pay. I'm like, well, hell yes, I do. Of course, <laughs> why not? So when I when I clicked it. My phone buzzed. I picked up my phone. It says, would you like to pay with Apple Pay? I'm like, well, yes, I would. I put my fingerprint on there. And then Apple.com was like, thank you for your order. What? And it was done. Like, it, my address was in there. Obviously, the pay information. Like, it was just, it was already, it was on order. Like, half a second after I put my fingerprint on the phone. That's going to come in handy the uh, last Friday of October. Last Friday of October. Why would that be in handy? Why would that come in handy the last Friday of October? iPhone 10 pre-orders. <laughs> I, I know you're not going to miss your pre-order window on that one because you won't get one until like March. You are right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll be like 1 a.m. I'm like, yeah, I need my... <laughs> Wait. What? Is he in our house watching you order? Is that how... <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that's how life works around here. Um, <laughs> holy shit! Uh, there's a uh, there's another thing we did this week that um, well, I mean, Poodle Puncher says yay boobies. I think well uh, now now we have everybody just talking about boobies. <laughs> You're yeah. the one that brought it up. Half I'm the audience is like, I mean, I mean, like, Apple 
con- Apple conversation. Eh, I'm going to, you know, time to go to the fridge, you know, come back and like, oh, they're talking about boobies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can't you can't skip shit on this show. Like you gotta stay here the entire time. That was your private session. You're the one that wanted to tell everybody about it. Um. Okay. <laughs> A patron exclusive. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle with this name. You ready? I'm gonna struggle with this. Okay. Um. Well, this is a this is a rough one, man. I don't know if you can get through this one. Um, we're gonna go with uh, is you got to carry the one, right? So it's uh, Bri Brian, Brian, Bruha Wowod, Brian uh, uh, Bruha uh, Wowod, Bru uh, Bru Bruge 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 what the Bruge Wad Bruge Bruge Wad Brianne Bruge Wad Brianne Bruge Wad. There we go. That's uh oh no wait hold on uh. Uh, enlarge the tag. Oh, oh, Brian Brushwood. Oh, says, you, you know, if I squint my eyes just right, <laughs> it actually does say Brian Brushwood. Uh, man, I'm <laughs> I'm going blind. I just can't read anything these days. Um, so a couple of weeks back, Brian Brushwood did a TEDx talk uh, called Social Scanning. And uh, Amos, I presume that you watched this? <laughs> I mean... Of course he did. Most of it. <laughs> I, I watched more than she did. Hey, you're lucky I watched the show. Uh, chatbot or chatbot, Jesus, chat like like. Hey Siri, hey chatbot. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hey chat. Realm. Hey Chatry, what? No. Ra- ra- raise your hand if you if you guys watch this. D- did you guys watch uh, Brian Brushwood social scamming? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, now okay. we have like a forty five so, minute apparently. delay. So. so if, uh, <laughs> In, uh, in in about forty five minutes, we'll be like, "Oh yeah, I watched that man. It was great. Oh god, I got so much to say." Oh yeah, and boobies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I thought this I thought this talk was actually really cool. It it gave a little bit of uh, backstory to the whole Diamond Club, the book Diamond Club, the novel, mm-hmm. how that how that kind of came about, and it was interesting to hear this as many times as I've heard this story from multiple people involved. It was interesting to hear him tell this story to an audience of strangers. Yeah. To a on chat realm audience. Yeah. That's that to me was the most interesting aspect of the whole thing. Um, I still like uh I I just I just like it anytime because there's two Bryans. There's the private Brian, there's the public Brian. And, sure, sure. and even amongst public Brian, there's the chat room, the the Diamond Club Brian, and then there's the uh, talking at Google, Brian. You know the the showman, <laughs> Brian. Right? Um, right. Yeah. And this, there's oh, actually a, do what? Yeah. There's there's a mix of like all three that I saw, and and I watched about about eight minutes of it. I think right um, of the fifteen minutes. So I guess I watched half, and I could see a little bit of each of those in there because it, it's it's still enough of a personal event for him that he does bring out you know like quiet Brian, and then yeah. turns right back into showman Brian. And then as he's talking about Diamond Club, he can kind of he kind of edges back into that the Diamond Club, Brian, that that, you know, we all know from South by and stuff is it was pretty good. Yeah, it was really cool. I, I, you know, most of our audience knows who Brian Brushwood is and um, are probably fans of his. If you guys haven't watched that, uh, go check it out. Amos put in a chat room. I did you it, put it in a Twitch chat as well? I did. So both chats have the link to it. Um, don't watch it right now. <laughs> like click it and save it for later. Wow, but, uh, you just got angry uh, quick. Don't watch it right uh, now. You're watching us. <laughs> but no, like here in like 20, 30 minutes. Like go check it out. Uh it's it's really cool. Pay attention, you miserable bastards. <laughs> um yeah, and uh you, you know, it's yeah, it's good. Uh, you didn't say a whole lot. You you met Brian uh about a year and a half ago, mm-hmm. right? I sure did. Yeah. So uh what you know of Brian versus what you saw on the TEDx, uh, how would you how would you compare them? Is that the real Brian or is this a is showman Brian a different Brian? Well, first I would have had to watch the TEDx, so uh, there's that. There's <sighs> that. I thought you'd seen at least a little bit of it. Mm, you would have. I I, okay. I, 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 tur- I I turned it on and she went looking for the show notes. <laughs> Got it. All right. So hashtag called out in public. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that. Bad. But the Brian <laughs> that I did meet, he's pretty awesome. Uh, I, also boobs. I, 
Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was fun. Everybody should go check it out. And uh, of course, you should check out all the stuff that Brian does. Uh, all the places Brian places places Brian. Yeah, all the Brian places. Yep. Yep. Uh, so what else we got, man? What else is going on? I saw one note you guys didn't talk about yet. The geekiest thing you did this week. Did we not talk about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we already talked about that. Did I miss that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm totally here. Yeah, yeah. You you made like three snide comments during during that. So <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so it's so good that she's so invested. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm invested financially. Yes, I'm invested. It's all. So, it's, it's all Ricky, here. Ricky, what um. If if people are like, you know what, this chick seems pretty cool. Like the the yin to Amos's yang, yin to the yin, yeah. What? So the the yin, or it would be the the yang to Amos's yin. I don't know. Why are you gonna make uh, it a black white thing, dude? What? <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even think about that. Of course well, you wouldn't. What? Only he does. White people rich. Fuck what? Me, being... <laughs> uh, people aren't getting the joke because um, uh, Rick's not on camera. Um, Fair enough. Anyway, is there anywhere that uh, you have a presence on the internet that uh, that you would like people to come check you out? No, I no no. Not we even like we don't even have um, a joint Facebook because no. Not even like like uh, flightlineescorts dot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm curious. Don't, don't talk about face. my side job. <laughs> That's private. Flightline. You brought it up. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> um, she can actually be found at Sarethia. You should go fi- follow her. S A R I E T H I A. She never posts anything. <laughs> but but maybe if if people were there and and uh, maybe if she got some uh, some followers, she'd actually put something on there. No. Um, S A R I E T H I A. I highly encourage everyone to follow her. Oh, stop it, please. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to use it. Well, you will. You will. <laughs> the pictures, the pictures that are posted up there are from you two. <laughs> Amazing. I'm dropping in the uh, in the chat because apparently I can't I can't verbally spell uh, words. <clears throat> words. So, uh, words. Someone else out that Twitter and Twitch start with the same four letters, and it's a bitch to go to the right site. Which is funny because bitch and Twitch end in the same four letters. Like. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked off Twitch before you even have a chance. Um, speaking of Twitch, do we even mention VOD Squad? Uh, yeah. So, so here's the thing: like, there's this show out there called VOD Squad. Like, I mean, it's okay if you like other Diamond Club shows, especially if, like, I mean, I understand that Poodle Puncher is like a really cool dude, mm-hmm. um, and like their subject matter is actually really cool yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But man, like, what's Vod Squad? Vod Squad is it's, it's a it's a show that comes on every Wednesday. Okay. Right. I mean, don't. Um, I mean, not to give away a whole lot of information about the show because we we're trying to not talk about the show. Oh, right. Oh. Oh. No, then why'd you but, bring it up? But well, see, but that's the thing. Like, I mean, you asked the question, so we gotta answer the question. I mean, it's 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 this the show that's about streaming services and devices. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a group of dudes that like really deep dive on some of this gear. Yeah, yeah. Um, did but, I mention that Poop Puncher is like really cool? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, and and and, and that's, that's that's really the hard part is because Poodle Puncher is so cool. But but you 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 know what you should do you, if you're watching this right now, you should go check out Vod Squad. Oh yeah, on Twitch. Just how terrible. Yeah, yeah. Show. And tell them that they need to jump ship and come over to our podcast uh, because because this I is mean, just so much better. Go ahead and go ahead and follow them, right? So that yeah, so that yep. people think just some troll or something like that. Follow right, them because yeah, you got you got to validate your presence, right? And you know, and then come back, like you know, tell them how awesome Ritual Misery Podcast is, and then come back to our show. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what you should do. Go there, get, get watch their show, just enjoy their show for what what it will provide. Because I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, they're putting out the effort, and then uh, what, yeah. what, what, no, what, hang out for a while. Hang out yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah, you know. 
Don't be rude. Yeah, yeah. And you know, make maybe make some comments, add to their chat room, that kind of stuff, you know. I mean, because you, you really want to make sure that they understand that you're there. And right, then but also make sure that they understand that Ritual Misery Podcast is the superior show. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. Clearly, thing. clearly. That is clearly. Oh, but of course. Yeah. Uh, and she, she, also spam, spam their chat and say say that they need to go to to uh, Ritual Misery Podcast and follow them or us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. So um <laughs> So so <laughs> cruise on over there and make that happen. Otherwise, uh can't where can people find you, man? Uh yeah, Twitter's probably the best place. Uh I'm hit or miss on there, but uh I I, I like the platform. Check it out. I might have 280 characters soon. That's kind of exciting. Uh at RM underscore Del Noche. Uh <laughs> let's hope not every let's hope they're selective with who gets 280 characters. Um, but check me out at RM underscore Del Noche. Pretty much everywhere else on the well on the web, I am Del Noche. Uh, if you're a beer dude or dudette, go to Untapped and add me there. Um, what about you, Amos? Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, even if I get 280 characters, I don't know if I'm going to use them all. I'll probably still cap myself at 140 just for tradition's sake because I'm that <laughs> I'm that dickhead. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it will it still be a twoosh if you tap it out at 140, or does that move to 280 now too? Uh, I think 280 will probably be like a twish or something. A twish? So you got a twoosh and a twish? A twoosh still has to be 140. I mean, that's kind of, that's, that's what it is, right? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, uh, the, the chat room, uh, Twitch chat right now is trying to figure out how to mod. Uh, so good luck on that because I couldn't figure Mod- that shit out. Uh, Modding's hard. <laughs> Twitch is hard. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I don't get to see boobs on this. There you go. There you go. There, there's, there's the real thing. Uh, thank you to my wife, Sarithia, aka Ricky. Yeah, you can find her at Sarithia, S A R I E T H I A. She's already been looking at her phone, getting all pissed off. She's got twice as number of followers now as she did before. Um, go, uh, go, yeah. go and follow her. Just, just the. If no, if, even if you hate this show, go and follow her so she gives me shit about all the people that are now following her. Um, and uh, you can find me at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E. Not that it matters because I've been spilling shit all night and nobody can understand what I'm saying. It's cool. I don't hate. <laughs> Except sometimes. Um, and of course, you can go and uh, make comments specific to the episode if you would like to on our subreddit at ritualmisery.reddit.com. Who's BioCal? Uh, he's a cool guy. Yeah. We love BioCal. He's great. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, hey, uh, thanks to Kevin McLeod for coming on the show a couple weeks ago and for giving us your theme music. It's amazing. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, thank you all of Chat Realm. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> so when I said both of you, I meant both chat realms, like Twitch <laughs> chat, Diamond Chat. But that right after I said it, I was like, oh, they thought I meant like both people watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> that was just great. That worked out. Yeah, she's uh she's literally showing me the people that are following her on Twitter right now. Like, who the fuck are these I people? I hate you. <laughs> Love it.